Thanks for joining my lesson. Uh, this one is going to be on the Grateful Dead song uh, Die Wolf, which was released on the album Working Man's Dead in 1970. Uh, written by Jerry Garcia, who did the music, and Robert Hunter, who did the lyrics. Uh, Robert Hunter, apparently, according to Wikipedia, which I'm reading as I speak, uh, was inspired to write the lyrics after watching the film The Hound of the Baskervilles. So there you go, little factoid for you. Um, yeah, I, this isn't the key of the original studio version I'm teaching. This is the version that I was taught years ago and it kind of works for my limited vocal range. So apologies in advance for that. It won't work if you want to play along to the record. Out of curiosity, I did try and look up the proper chords and um, a lot of them were, most of them on YouTube and like Ultimate Guitar and stuff was Starting with a, a G and then going to the B flat, and I, that didn't sound right either when I played along to the record. So I figured rather than doing something else which sounds a bit wrong, um, not meaning to diss the other teachers, I'm sure. I'm sure they're right, maybe it's just not in standard tuning on the record or, or something, I don't know. But um, I figured I might as well just teach the version that I know. Um, and also the song structure is quite complicated, the, the, the strumming and so on isn't always consistent so I'm going to try and teach this one slightly differently and just go through it very slowly without sort of getting into detail about the up and down strums and, and, and so on and, and separating the parts of the song verse, chorus, pre-chorus because that's not particularly clear either so yeah I'm just going to go through it. Uh, I'll go through the chords now quickly first so and I'll put up diagrams at the end. So we're going to have an E we have an A, we have a D, we have a G, a G where um, I'm muting the A string. We're going to have a F sharp minor. We're going to have a C sharp seven. So I'm not playing that like here, this on the fourth fret. I'm playing effectively the C7 slide up, slide up a fret. And I think that's all the chords. Uh, yeah. That's it. So let's, let's go for it then. So intro is going to sound like this. that so what I'm doing there for the intro is playing open E playing twice on the open A and then playing four two open on the E string and then we 
start strumming. And then the vocal starts. So the three chords we were playing there is the E, Until we then start the singing, which goes back to an E. So let's do that again a bit slower, slowly. So, E, G, D, only a brief G. D, and then we hold the D all the way. And then we go back to an E. Chorus starts and the chorus starts on the D, so we're going back to the D. So, what we did there is after going to the D to start the chorus. D, back to the E again, and then an A, and that's just a couple of strums on the A, and then the C sharp 7, two more strums on those, and then the F sharp minor, which you play like that. So first verse and chorus all together and the intro. Second verse and second chorus are slightly different in structure and also timing. So things to look out for are the first E we play is cut short quicker, sooner, because we push the G. So we end up effectively playing the G longer and the E not as long. After we've held the D for a while, rather than just going back to the E, we're going to do a rundown like so. Second verse. I sat down to my supper of wise upon the red whiskey. I said my prayers. I went to bed and that's the last I saw of me. Don't burn me. I beg you that you don't murder me. So starting off the same with the E. Push that G so we're coming in sooner on the word was or twas. So 
from the D we're coming up to an A bar chord. And then we're going down chromatically to an A flat, and then a G, and then the F sharp minor. So the first three are major in this rundown, then minor. So once we get to that E and the D, we're kind of back on home territory, as we played the previous one. So let's go through that whole second verse and chorus again. Sat down for my supper, it was by my bread whiskey. Said my prayers, I went to bed, and that's the last they saw of me. Don't mind me. I beg you. Then we go to two rounds of, I don't know what you'd call these, um, not really pre-choruses because they don't go to a chorus, um, what do they, so essentially it's going to be this, so. I woke up out of wolf 600 pounds was grinning at my window, all I said was come on. they are pre-choruses. So we've got pre-chorus, chorus, pre-chorus, chorus. And these pre-choruses, the chords are going to be F sharp minor, I woke a wolf E, I woke a wolf 600 pounds of sin. And what we're doing there is we're going A, G, D. Holding on the D. Back to an E, and then we do the chorus in the same way we did the first chorus we did. Then we've got the next pre-chorus, which starts with uh, the wolf came in, I got my cards, and he sat down for the game. I got my dick to the queen of spades, but the cards were all the same. Same chords, same chorus structure. Then for the instrumental part of the song, we um, play that pre-chorus sound again, so... Chorus chords. So the only little embellishment there, up to you whether you do it, is just a slight walk up from the D to a D sharp before we get to the E. Um, and that's it. And then we've got a verse again to finish, and then the chorus, which kind of extends into an outro. So same chords again for the last verse. In the back wash of the area, black and blood in my dial a wolf collects his dues while the boys sing around the fire. Don't murder me I beg you.
I said I could sing this, so yeah. Well, I've been turning a little porky. Uh, that's kind of gone out of my range. But uh, what we did there is we played the chorus. And at that point when you'd finish the chorus, you then go back to the E. from the E. So imagine we're just ending the chorus. That's it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to lose the handful of subscribers I got after this lesson because, uh, uh, yeah, that was pretty random. Um, maybe I shouldn't put it up. We'll see. Anyway, I um, hope it helps someone. If you've got any questions, let me know. And um, yeah, hopefully see you for another lesson. Bye.